Hola everyone, welcome back to more Mortal Empires High Elves with your host, Ragnarok. Right, so yeah, let's uh, pick things up from where we left off last time. We had the siege here at, I believe this is the Eagle Gate, yeah. And also, if you guys are wondering, this is episode 147. Yeah, I, I'm kind of a promising left sort of move. come to... Uh, terms with the fact that uh, this episode or this this series could take about 500 episodes so you know <laughs> i guess i'll see you guys in a you know a year from now when this thing is finished but at the same time i i don't know i really really enjoy playing as the the high elves so I, i'm not too concerned about that i you know when this campaign is finished I, i'm really gonna miss the high elves and it, it will probably be a long long time until i get to play as the high elves again so which you know i'm really looking forward to especially you know seeing as I, i've learned how to play them a little Defender. bit more. and um uh, a little bit more of what i'm doing now that doesn't Noble mean Lord. of course that i won't make mistakes but yeah, I'm looking to forward to playing as them again one day and doing a better job of the campaign and going through it a little bit, a little bit quicker. Hopefully, I can not screw up with diplomacy the second time around. I think Aiden Adventure will bring awaits. him around Ridiculous. this way. I know I said I was going to potentially hit some of these, though he could be. You have my attention. He's within range of of, of this. Uh, bird here, Hagrin. We've got an allied agent here, Agnor. Noble. Anyway, Aiden, Never. I think he could be useful hitting these armies as well, especially with her out here. I do not want to lose any gates, so I am thinking Thinking that he is this provided garrison. This doesn't provide a garrison. This would be awesome if it uh, provided a garrison. That would be fucking incredible. But same thing with this. But at least the, the Tower of Mages provides a garrison. It's just no. It's weird. You can't. Uh, you think you could. Build something to bolster the defenses here of these things. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, obviously, building up the gate, but, you know, just a garrison building or something. You know, so. But I guess they don't want the garrisons going over 20 units, I guess. So there's 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 19, and then if you build this one. That's 20, yeah. So I don't think probably the garrisons are limited at 20. Princess. 20 per stack. Right, so Freya could potentially, they could really possibly help them hit her. Pretty sure he was recruiting, he was at 5 units last time, and he was recruiting last time as well. It looks like they must be. Okay. And probably recruiting Blackguard. Perhaps some cold one nights. But it's gonna say that probably they must be using the global. They could be using the global recruitment too, that's possible. Definitely don't want to lose White Peak here. But I don't know. I'm not sure. Don't work that might have to recruit some some temporary generals here again as well. Our traditions give me strength. Jake, points of magic it's okay. Number success chance seven percent. Does it change if you like Okay, yes it does. Okay, I was gonna say. Alright. Alright, so let's put you Right there, and get you in. Stands. Five leadership plus five and two 
experience gain from spellcaster. Just thinking if we should try and bolster the strength of the, of the troops a little bit, and and maybe they'll hit here, or if we should am put their put her in ambush stance and then that'll tempt them land. Uh, the Asser are ageless. Well. On level 40. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Loyal to a fault. Go with Bossy. Give him. Give a wolf. Bossy. Asser Lady. Alright, so I am. The Lion Wait. I think it will put her in in camp. Just get a. It looks like they may attack here, and they may attack with all three stacks. Now, basically, it would be three stacks against two. These are complete. Or like two and a half stacks against one and a half stacks. The Harrison like. Yeah, two and a half versus one and one and a half. Plus we have the walls, three walls. So I think that's a fight we could win, possibly if we play it smart. Which I have not always done in the past. So we'll we'll see what happens there. Ooh, you know what? Destruction. Ah, good job. Let's get into diplomacy here and just send the border princess another small gift to make sure so, our relations with them greetings. keep moving. We may not in be the, the right empire, direction. but our realm has riches and strength in each. Ah, Aggression. Come on, man. Greetings. We may not be the empire, but our realm has yeah, riches and strength yeah. in equal measure. Can't actually. We cannot. Yeah, I don't know. How much? What is in our treasury right now? Say on the screen. It does. It does. Yeah. Treasury is not exactly <laughs> Brave and brimming with cash right now. So, All right. Let's see here. What? Do not greet me as a friend. Right, I will nor are we foes. Offer you guys yet. it's a lot, especially considering how much cash we have. Never. All right, we'll just have to give them a small gift, which I know it adds Empire up over time. Blessing. Yes. At least it's keeping this positive direction. So I should give them. Three. Deliver your message. And also. I will maybe use our whoops use our, our influence to improve our relations with the border princes as well and we'll eventually want to try and sour their relations but unfortunately influence has been kind of <laughs> yeah it's yeah we don't have a lot of it but I spent it quite a bit recently. Actually, probably quicker than the this way, I think. Alright, so yeah, we need to get her to, to this army. This is the quickest way to get there. For her. Crossing the waves. This way, yeah. True son Let's see of if Ulfwa. we can. Let's just see if we can hinder these guys. Hero wounded 8% chance. Positive Pokemon. Oh, no. The enemy will pay. All right, good luck, Virgil. I apologize. Failure. Uh, all right. Well, at least he didn't get hurt. Yeah. Speak Should your mind. Experience here. Does it show the experience? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm not gonna look at that right now or look for that. Your command. 
All right, cool. I think things are looking good up here, and I, I think we'll do what I was saying last time. As, as soon as Balin is available, should be next turn. Uh, two more turn. We'll hire him. We'll hire him wherever this army Phoenix is, King. and transfer over these two Phoenix guard. Hopefully, by then the these units will be caught up. We'll Your just keep Valen with a small force supporting this army court. for the time being. That will, will be a stack in a little bit. That should be I able to hold the line it. until Tyrion comes back up here. Alright. Two more turns. Okay, so right here, I really don't want to lose LST. You know what? I'm gonna demolish this actually. I mean, we might lose this settlement anyway, but should have these dies. We probably make quite a bit of money with our trade from that. I didn't even realize. I was just looking around in here. I didn't realize there was a resource there. All right, so I think we need. We're gonna. This is gonna really. We'll get Torindel here. Guardian right. of the Phoenix Hill here Setting and up we'll throw him in there just Defender to of the Ever Queen. hopefully deter them. Yeah, that hit our treasury pretty hard. I mean, we don't want to continue doing this strategy, but at the same time, we don't have the resources to get over here. It's going to cost us more if we lose this, and Guardian. anything we can do to do Thank more God. damage to them at the very least and just slow them down will be helpful and I, I'm actually going to do the same thing over here at White hear the widow even though well, it'll be a very difficult fight over here as well but probably let's go uh, evil weapon strength minus 30% alright we'll go with the salt don't want to spend influence for these generals because they're basically emergency this is emergency type situation at least we're still making a profit though so that will probably change because we're recruiting troops some I serve the Phoenix King but yeah hopefully we only have to keep these guys here for one turn I serve the start Phoenix to eliminate King. some of these armies with Freya and hopefully this army moves up towards Tori the bitters and maybe decides to attack there. I don't know. But Lady of the Phoenix we could add, uh, also bring Marielle down there, but we've got to get rid of those, those chaos stacks first. So, got another right available, and yeah, I'm definitely going to hit this. It's, could definitely help the situation out. The extra winds of magic. Alright, Iolar. I mean, we could get to the Pox March, which. Pox March. Which is where they're headed, obviously. But at Faithful least service. here, kind of in a position where we can potentially take, take it back. Don't really want to recruit more this arm just yet. Just leave it at 15. I'm not sure if we'll be keeping this army. Probably. The skill is legend. Eventually, we'll, well, we'll transfer this army over to a slightly better general if we do keep it around. You must restore order. I don't know. I'm just trying to survive. Survival. You have my um, attention. All right, Tara. I'm gonna actually bring you down. Here. Let's see if we can actually get rid of it. Big stone. He's just, I mean, he's not really hurting anything, but it's just kind of obnoxious. I guess he's messing up public order. Guys. Anyway, Rats see if we can get rid of him. Foam. And Ghost. Oh, shit. Princess of the Azure. Ghost is supposed to be going down this way. Or is he? Awaits. Ghost, what are your... Yep, Ghost is supposed to be heading... Oops. Yeah, 
servant of the tower. Both friends supposed to Anyway, that's something. And we're gonna you stay put. Let's just check public order here. Yeah, good. Blood swamps looks good, mostly because we have to turn in. It's okay. For now. We have to upgrade this soon to public order. Find here. And these the provinces public trouble. order will be a little bit tricky for a little while, but anyway, yeah, let's get Tyrion moving. What is the quickest route for him to get back to Uthman? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that looks like... I think that's the route to take. Because that'll give us the opportunity to do this. But we do also want to take out... It would be nice to take out Lord Scroll from the way. Let's... I'd prefer him to come around this way. Even though the other way is going to be slightly Champion quicker. Of the Ever Queen. Just because Skrulk is up Ready this way. Alright, so how badly... So this is still in the province. This province public order is starting to deteriorate. But once Velicin is ready. Hmm. Just thinking, should we really have this army sitting in two turns? I guess she has to replenish anyway, so it's on it. Yeah. Alright, let's see if you can eliminate this this guy and then we'll get you over here. But shit. Failure. Damn it to hell. Herond, what the fuck? Standing by. Need you over here in Arian's army. Protect our old one. He's gonna have to catch up. But I, I re would really like to get rid of this agent first because clear the way for, for the armies. Well, we'll give it one more try next turn and if it fails again next turn. Get him moving towards Tyrion. He's bound for Tyrion's army. Having the I think we'll, we'll try and get Rugal Lords for Tyrion's army just to obviously offset the price of bad boys because we're going to be recruiting four more of them and then I think after that we'll probably get two more sun dragons just so we have four of them and then maybe we'll get one of the blue phoenixes and one of the red phoenixes I think and then the rest of the spots will be reserved for nobles I think. Uh, just because the nobles can go on the eagles. I know they don't get the buff that the dragons will from Tyrion's, Tyrion's, uh, Tyrion's abilities. But uh, I want this army to be all flying with, with one mage on, on the ground. I want it to be a completely mobile army. Yeah, anyway. Look, really looking forward to getting Tyrion's new stack into the field. Really good. Kick some ass. Army to end all armies. All right, I think things are looking good. Yeah, so I don't think we're gonna move her. You know what? Maybe. Yeah, let's. Uh, Guardian of the Phoenix Crown, moving on. Make sure you're in zone of control here. Prime yeah, let's put action. you in ambush. Ready to attack. Maybe these. These dwarves will, will come back down this way. I would rather them... I mean, obviously we don't want to lose the, the Awakening, and Hawksmarsh is a little bit better better defended, but obviously this is the more valuable settlement, so we, we need to protect this. Losing this, well, not on de ideal, is not... Uh, it's not, not going to cripple us. Yeah, we should be able to take it back if you happen to lose it. Alright, I think we're ready to go through the end turn. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. For the, for the commandment to do. Alright, yeah, let's just go... Yeah, let's get this bad boy built up. 
Hopefully we can hold these gates. We may have a little bit of action here during the end turn, so wait and see. But yeah, let's do it. Let's hit the end turn. Alright, so I, I'm gonna jump right back into Kalidor's story from the High Elves Army book by Adam Trope. So, Sundering. So began a last deadly conflict. The Witch King and his counselors began a terrible ritual that would unbind the Vortex. The High Mages of the Elves attempted to stop them, but such was the awesome power of the Witch King's dark magic that he and his coven of mages slowly and inexorably gained the upper hand. The heavens shook and the earth trembled. Once more an airy glitter sprang up over the mountains and clouds of magical energy surged from the erupting peaks into the sky. In the far north of the world the realm of chaos churned and prepared to advance once more. In the camp of the Phoenix King, Kalidor prayed to all the gods and to his grandsire to aid him. At dusk, as the sky shimmered with weird, many-colored lights, the Witch King and his followers began the final push. Demons of Chaos came to their aid, and the last spells of the defenders collapsed before their onslaught. In the sky, the, the triumphant laughter of evil gods was heard. Then, as the dark magic touched the island of the dead at the very heart of the vortex, New players entered the game. Mighty figures, clad in light, sent the surge of mystical power tumbling back to Nagarite. The trapped mages of the Isle of the Dead refused to let their work be undone. The colossal power of the energies unleashed lashed Nagarite. As the ritual reached its climax, many of the Witch King's coven fell stone dead. Destroyed by the elder power they wrestled. A storm of baleful magic raced over the land. Nothing could withstand the terrible forces unleashed. The island buckled under the titanic stress and, and across Uthmont earthquakes cast down cities and mountains. Nowhere escaped the sundering on ski. A wall of water a thousand feet I smashed down on negative. The sea rushed in to cover all the Dark Kingdom and most of Tyrannoch inside. Thousands were slain, drowned by waves, buried by earthquakes, or struck by magical light. The shock was felt as far as far away as the world's edge mountains and is recorded in the Chronicles of the Dwarf. The power of the Witch King was reduced but not broken. In those last hours as the seas rushed in to devour the land, mightiest of the surviving sorcerers, the sorcerer lords of Nagarite, cast dark and terrible spells upon their keeps. As the waves crashed round the hilltops, the wizard's palaces broke free and floated on the surface of the wave. Large as icebergs, they drifted off to the north, steered by sorcerous power, carrying with them the remaining followers of the Witch King. Thus were created the infamous Black Arts. Alright, yeah, I've Oh shit, we've only gotten to the Dark Elves. I was, you know, as I was going through that, like, we've, we've had a pretty quiet end turn here. Mm. Damn it, we should have maybe, should have maybe hired a, hired a general here. But at the very least, we need to do a ton of damage. Obviously losing another one of the gates would not be good. But, but I mean, lo losing the gates is not not going to be crippling to us. At least we can kind of really do a lot of damage to them, and it's not too much trouble. It's not going to be too much trouble for us to take them back, especially with this new, especially with Freya in the area. So, and and Balin will be back in two turns as well, though limited capacity at first. We've just got so many armies in the field that it's going to be hard to get him back to full strength right away. But we, we should be able to start disbanding some of these random armies that we've got around. Just to save on upkeep cost. But anyway, we'll, we'll figure this all out. But we, we definitely need to do some damage here. 
some major, major damage. So uh, I'm going to try and fight this one similar to the way we fought the dwarves at the last battle. And just see if we can set up two layers of defense. Try and we'll, we'll hold the lines, hold these three choke points. Or actually there's four choke points, I suppose. But... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how they set up. And yeah, just try and do maximum damage to these guys if we can. Uh, 16. So power reserve 146. So we've got quite a bit of power here. I think 16 is fine to start off. Alright, let's just get everybody back for now. Alright, let's take a look at how they set up. Alright, four Hydras over here. We'll definitely need to take those down. Yeah, we'll definitely need to take those down. So yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be fun. Lots of fun here. What kind of mage do we have here? High mage. We do have three little sanctuaries. Those will help out. I don't think they're going to be able to chase off the Octaners to be the dragon. White Lions! White Lions get a bonus versus Lark? They do, right? No, they don't. Hmm. Oh, Dark Rider Shield. Alright, I think these dragons are going to be extremely, going to be more of an issue than the, the one in close. They don't have any artillery though, or do they? I swear they had one bolt card. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, what do I want to put on the walls here? Alright, I think we're gonna put our light archers over on this side. Mostly because these these guys could end up in combat if these dragons come and land over here, so they'll be a little bit better suited for for the combat. All right, so we're gonna do it like that, like so. As you say. Silver helms. Put you guys in the center here, and they, they can support whichever support, whichever side needs the most support. And the eagles will put them there too. Bolt throwers. I think we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put them over here and try and take down. These dragons. So, once they get up to the walls, we're going to try and do that. Put you right there. And. We will advance! Thank you. So, that's what we're going to have to try and do with these guys. We're going to have to try and focus down these dragons, see if we can get them down, and then the other units. Feel like it should be them on. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna we will obey. Awaiting have some fun. Alright, noble. Oh. Let's yeah. spells does she have? She's got a Alright, so Ready and able. Do the noble Have the noble stand over here. 
actually. Stand over here. And just because we're, we're going to fall back here, I, I think most likely, is what's going to happen. And... We'll, no. Yeah, well, we're probably going to fall back because I don't know that we're going to be able to hold the the gates are going to get attacked by the hydras. We're going to break through, and if we're going to hold the hydras, he's got bonus versus large, so he's going to have to try and hold the hydras. But we need to get these archers, get these archers back here. We could potentially take out those hydras with them, but we might have to try and hold this. Point. The swordmasters, I'll have them hold here. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know that we've got, I don't think we've got any trick with this, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Gotta try and snipe those dragons. If we can start with that, then we do have a chance. Maybe. Actually, I'm gonna keep the eagles over here because. We'll just get them to try and support the dragons. Maybe we can get the dragons to chase them. Or something. We'll also want to get rid of these dark shards. Dark shards with shields. Because they, they will be able to do a lot of damage here to our troops. Right, I think we are just about set up here. It's white lions. Maybe... I don't know if I don't like necessarily like this, but these guys need to cover their retreat and then potentially get the silver humps to cover their retreat. We'll get everybody back in behind these choke points. And yeah, I think that's as good a preparation as as we can do. Fuck, they got a lot of dirt. Fuck our first years. Yeah, I. I I do want to get these dragons to chase the eagles around a little bit, but at the same time, these units are going to be tricky. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck, boys, because, yeah, we don't want to lose another gate. Taking these things back, it's all it's okay. Alright, are they bringing the dragons up? Not bringing the dragons up. Alright, so let's focus on, on taking down those dark shards. And over here, we're gonna focus everything on these hydras. See if we can get these hydras down. Do one at a time. Weapons ready. Oh, shoot the hydra. Shoot the hydra. There we go. Alright, let's see what's going on up here. Alright, you guys need to focus down dark shards. Yeah, okay, good. The dragons are not. Alright, so let's just pull the eagles back here. Get some damage. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, end of glory. Let's actually heal as well. How are we doing against this Hydra? Come on, you gotta get that Hydra down. Get him down. We have a chance here. Come on. Come on. We won't be able to shoot the second one, but I, I don't know why he just stopped there. It's weird. What are we doing over here? Alright. Get another eagle out. Just, okay, here come the dragons. Let's see if we can get you guys, get them to chase you. I'm gonna take down their ranged units first. Kill them for duty. We will obey. All right. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the, the dragons to follow the eagles. Come on. Get out of there. Go. 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 Keep shooting these guys down. Might not be a bad idea. Might have to pull out of here. Yeah, they're not. Uh, one of them followed the dragons. Alright, uh. Ah, son of a bitch. 
you guys reach the Is it the dragons? Alright, I let's oh, we need to fall back. Let's get you guys back out of here. How are we doing? We got that hydra down? I think we got okay, we got one hydra down. And one is coming through the door here. Which means I assume the time to fall back here as well. Alright, oh shit. Wait. Okay, guard. Guard, guard. Everybody pull back. Okay. Just slow these guys down. You guys need to shoot these dragons. Shoot the dragons. That's what you need to do. Silver helms. What do we got here? Black Arc Corsairs, just smash into them. Maybe we can just do a little bit of damage. Okay, let's get you guys set up in behind here. Actually, set you up there. Yeah, damn. Lost the gate guard here. How are we doing over here? Ooh, they're gonna be really hard pressed to take on this Hydra by themselves. Fuck me. Another eagle over here. This eagle is back. What can we do it here? Alright, I think it's time. Fall back here. Can you guys actually shoot the Hydra from here? Turn around and shoot it. That would be fantastic. Actually, no, you come back here. Alright, how are we doing here? Ooh, I've lost track of the mage. I should have fucking. Come on. You guys need to shoot these fucking dragons. Keep shooting. I'm down one at a time. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Silver helms are, are Silver in helm. trouble now. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Guys, pull back over this way. Can you guys Archers. not turn around and shoot this thing? For order. For duty. I guess we got a manual in the book then. We will obey. Still got quite a bit of ammunition with these guys, so I mean. They can shoot this thing from over here. That would be fantastic. Come on, shoot it. Where the hell is our mage? I think our mage went down. I lost track of it. Unfortunate. Which would have... Yeah. Where the hell is... Yeah. Mage is down. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Finish it off. I just really want to... Yeah. Alright, it's going pretty good here. Silver You guys get into them, yeah. We're doing well here too. Sort of anyway. Um You guys get into just get into this fight too. Just try and slow them down as much as possible here. So we can get reformed eagles. You guys come over here and help them out. Let's just keep shooting at these fucking dragons. Alright, you guys. Alright, I think we're gonna get this hydro. Over. Looks like we're winning on this side. But we might need you guys over here. One more eagle. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yes, crash into them. Send him over to the ship. Ooh, that was nasty. Alright, yeah, we're definitely in trouble over here on the side. You guys. Get back over here. That's the way to go. As soon as we get this Hydra down, get these archers over here to, to help support. Hopefully this white lion can hold here for a little while. Fuck, I don't think we're gonna win this. It's things. It's looking quite bleak at the moment. Come on. 
Kill some of these units. Then low on ammunition. Breaking. Yeah, it's not looking good, guys, but I, I think we've done a, a decent amount of damage to them here. And we, we'll be able to come back and defeat them. We just don't want them to come on, just take this thing down. We don't want to kill these things. I think some of the dragons got away. I don't think we completely killed them. Interesting, there's more dimensions to this. I'm wondering if they're going to potentially unlock that at some point. Did you guys get the, the dragon here? Or the Hydra? Looks like it. Alright, you guys need to get over here and. Uh, fuck. Yeah, we're done. Well, I think we, we, we made a good fight of it here. Fortunately, a few of the units are going to survive, yeah. Alright, that's. A little bit discouraging, but I don't think it's the end of the world. And well, we did heal out a fair bit of punishment to them. I mean, they're going to get replenishment for some of their units, but let's see, see what we're able to. Like, we, ah, man, just so close to getting these dragons, the hydras. We got rid of. I mean, they took. Yeah, they took quite a bit of punishment there. So. I mean, I, I'm fairly happy with that result. Dark Elves are tough, man. I, they are really, really tough, so... I don't know. But at least this army, this army will be slowed down quite a bit now, so... gonna hurt our economy I think as well just because of the the edict from from the, the gate with uh, gives the bonus to tax wait oh shit wait they're sieging us out there they didn't make the attack so that's good gives us time Yeah, we we desperately. Tyrion back up here. We are taking the full front of the oh, for fuck sake. All right, I, I'm gonna fight this next time, guys, because we we're over the time limit as it is. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you in the next episode. I mean. We might be able to win this. I, again, it's not the end of the world if we win it. If they take it, we come back down here and, uh, and retake it. But anyway, yeah, uh, I think Freya is either here or I think she's here. Yeah, so she might be able to reach it next turn. Anyway, guys, episode uh, 148 is next. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I will see you then. Uh, Ragnarok out.